Dear Diary, there sure are a lot of crows around here. They're really intelligent birds. I read somewhere that they can recognize human faces and hold grudges. Someone must have pissed the crows off around here, lol. Oh hey, you're back. Come on in. Welcome to my Pretty Witchin' Halloween series. Today we're going to be making this witch broom. Stay tuned. Be sure to take a screenshot of today's project details. Now let's get started. Today I'm using a large package of raffia for my broom, which you can find at any local craft store, but you can also use some branches as long as they're bendable. So I cut my raffia at about two feet in length and now I'm just placing it over top of the base of our gnarly branch. And just take care to make sure that you're wrapping it all the way around your branch. Next, grab your piece of jute and make a loop and place it over top of your raffia. And we're just going to be tying a gathering knot. And just a friendly reminder, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always tap the three dots on the top right corner to slow down this video. Or if you need further instructions, I invite you to go check out my knot tutorial playlist. I'll link that in the cards above. Okay, so as you're wrapping your jute around, make sure that you're pulling it really, really taut. Once you've worked your way all the way up to the top, put your tail end through your loop and give the bottom end a tug. Give it a quick trim. It does not have to be perfect because this is actually going to be hidden underneath your broom. Alrighty, so next we need to manhandle the raffia a little bit and pull it down. Smooth it down as best as you can, and then grab a hold of your next piece of jute. We are going to be tying another gathering knot over top. This is a really fun and easy project to do. We're only tying two knots for this entire thing, and I think it turns out awesome. And I think it's a pretty authentic looking witch broom. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so like we did last time, we're going to pull our tail ends through and then snip off the excess. The final step to this project is to give it a little bit of a fluff. Make sure your raffia is all separated nicely and then trim up the tail ends that stick out. If you like this project, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I hope you consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. So what do you think? I think it turned out great. See you tomorrow.